okay guys um in this video i'm going to show you how to draw lines in 3d uh, yeah, to do that let's begin by creating a 3d scene um, and then attach a script to it leave it as in and um, let's make our script a tool script i am writing tool to it at the, at the very top of it um, and then i'm gonna now create a variable of type array this is going to store the points uh, in the scene where I want a line to be drawn um, okay so I'm going to use the process function for this but I want whatever lines to be drawn to be drawn only when I have pressed the um, mouse button so I'm gonna say is mouse button press the menu button left so when, when I when I press or click the mouse button you should start seeing lines being drawn or it will update exactly where to draw okay now just for now let me just type in pass pass and pass pass and save the script okay um the next thing is okay we've done that I've created all right the next thing i'm gonna create um let me add in two nodes um it's going to be mesh instance mesh instance okay mesh instance these ones will have of shape uh, this way. Um, I think they are too big. Let me just do half of that and half of this. Alright. Still visible there, alright. Then I'm gonna call them point Let's do point and duplicate this point one uh, point one is fine. Okay, and now you can see there's two of them all right now let me add in these two points into the array but first of all let me clear the array make sure that every time the process function runs i don't have more points than i need you know so p dot append get load point dot transform dot origin um, so I'm gonna copy this and paste for the other point at point one okay um oh I'm missing the bracket um the next thing so if it's good the next thing I'm gonna create a node that actually draws lines between the two points, and this is called an immediate geometry node. Immediate geometry. Uh, let me rename this to draw. Immediate geometry is a little bit too long, and let me capture that one. Let me, see, let me call it IG. Uh, get get node draw right so ig let's clear everything that is in ig we don't know what it is then, so every time the script runs we don't want it to draw more lines than than necessary um, and then let's tell it to now start drawing but we have to now define exactly what needs to be drawn or how these lines should be drawn. So I'm going to choose line step, primitive line step. That's the one I want. I'll later on show you what each of those uh, type of primitive lines uh, are drawn. Alright. And then now I want to tell it exactly how to or where, where, where the points are. So for x in we call it p 
uh, array. X will represent each point uh, that is stored in P at every iteration of this form. So okay, so IG dot add vertex. This is how you tell it that I want you to start here or, or draw a line from here. Okay, so X and you won't believe it after I, I just type in this line our script will be finished so just save actually save everything so I'm saving in the scene and let's see if it will run so let's go let's see Okay, um, I ran into a bit of a, a ticketed glitch, yes, um, and I did some research on it. Godot has a problem with, um, I don't know, running tool script when you've just created them without having restarted the, the engine. So I, I did that, and yeah, let's continue from, from where we ended. Um, so now you will see now when I move, actually let me just show you that I didn't change the script at all. You can just pause this and compare it with, with um, just a few seconds ago when everything, uh, yeah. Anyway, you can see the script is the same as, as, as the last time we saved it, I saved it. So when I move this point, you should see a line between the two points. There. See. So when you do something, especially when you create a tool function and, and it doesn't work or it doesn't do as you want it to be and, and you are very sure that there is no wrong on your part, save everything and just restart the engine. Yeah, so there's, there's a line in between uh, the two points. Now to show you the difference between um the different primitives or the preferring the different um parameters in this begin function i'm going to create or duplicate this point so as you can see this one is right there um, you should also see a line between no you shouldn't see it because i haven't added it to my um to the array Let's do it now. Let's copy this line and add the two hundred point three. When I save and I go back, you should see lines in between all four of them. Okay. Um, so I wanna now show you how how different is how different the lines are drawn depending on the parameter you put in here. So instead of line strip, I'm going to put in lines and save, see what it is. So only two lines are drawn. What happens is that a, a, a line is drawn between point and point one. A line is drawn between point two and point three. There's no line that gets drawn between point one and point two. So it only draws a line once for every point that's what lines does then we have lines strip this is the one we, we used uh, at the beginning everything saved see it draws a line between all of them and then there is line loop as you can guess this one just closes Everything. So what I mean by that is that make sure that in addition to drawing a line between each of these points, it also draws a line between the first and the last point. This is the line. So yeah, that's it. Um, I, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.